<laughs> We're going to start. Um, I, I added in a segment this morning, just a little bit ago. Um, I wanted to take maybe just 10 minutes and show you a few of the images from yesterday um, and talk a little bit about yesterday and how it went and things that maybe I would, um, that worked and didn't work or what I would have done differently in the studio. Um, and although I say that was rough, that was real. Like, absolutely, I have sessions that, you know, go great in the studio, kids or pets, and sessions that sometimes are a little more of a challenge. Um, so we'll talk about some of that stuff. I just grabbed, I, I want to explain to you what you're going to see here. Like literally I just did this like on my way um, to Creative Live this morning that um, these images are just proofed out. Uh, but what I think is good, what you're going to see, like these are not retouched images. They literally just have like our proofing action on them or an action run on them. So the colors might be popped a little bit or the edges vignetted. But if a client would order these, we would do more work to them. And the cool thing is tomorrow morning when Jed's on, he's doing workflow and post-production. So I'll actually give him some of these images and we'll see you know, what kind of things we would actually do to the images to make them even better. So you're kind of seeing a little bit more of the process rather than just here's what I took um, and then here it is beautiful. You're actually you know, seeing the in-between. So I, I went, went ahead and put together just a really short, I mean it's like less than a minute, um, Animoto slideshow to show you the images. So let's see them. <laughs> life is a long, long dream. Dreams are a short, short life that linger, but end with the sun. Life is a long, long dream. Birds in a tall, tall tree. Trees on a big, big hill that's shady. Mice in a deep, deep hole. So just a quick, quick overview, but we'll have more of the images um, that we'll work on tomorrow, because actually there were very specific images that, um, oh, this would be good and this would be good. We need to combine them and do a head swap, you know, just how we would do those sorts of things. Or people asked the question yesterday, would you Photoshop out the tongue? And I was like, oh, I get shots where, you know, there's <laughs> not the tongue in the, the image. We only got a few where those tongues were actually inside the dog's mouth. So there's a couple where we would just see just a little bit and we'll Photoshop that out and tweak the images and, um, and that will all be tomorrow morning. So um, a couple other things I want to talk about, though, real briefly. I kind of realized this morning as I was putting those images together, um, I know we talked yesterday about prepping for the shoot. And I've been trying to make everything um, so pet driven. But really, like I had left out a segment of, I mean, if we're talking about pets and people, the people are in the images. And so um, it's really important that they look good. I mean, in some aspects, they're obviously the ones paying the money, not the pets, that they really need to look good. And so there's certain things I do in the camera room with people that um, really, I, I, that's the way I'm thinking when I'm shooting with pets. It's just that the pets are added in there. So um, a couple things, I, I call them the outtakes. I got lots of outtakes yesterday. <laughs> Probably more outtakes than I normally would get. But um, the reality being, like, I am shooting when some of those crazy things are happening because you never know what you're going to get. And so sometimes, though, like for some of these families, like that's reality. Like really, sure, my goal is to get that beautiful image where the dog, the kids are all sitting on the couch looking at the camera, but is that really the reality for that family? Like really, like every day, it's the kids are running around and it's crazy and it's fun. Um, it's not uncommon that these actually would be the type of images that people are buying their wall portraits and I'm selling from, like the, the outtakes because it has a little more, um, free-flowing freedom, like it captures the family how they are. So that relates to pets, like some of those images where, you know, the dog is running at the camera or it's a little more um, crazy. Those might be some of the images that um, I would still sell and show. Um, and there are a couple other things um, I just want to show because they're really key in how I shoot with people. Um, the image on the left here, that's like a number one selling pose when you have a child that won't sit still. So that age, like my daughter's age, that, that would even be good, like that one and a half to three, three and a half. Now, again, you could add a puppy in there. Mom could be holding a puppy. It would still be an up close image, but on the shoulders, we've contained the rowdy child. And, and that's important because you guys saw yesterday when you add a pet to the dynamics of a shoot, like you're adding one other element to like, wow, not only do I need to get three people, including this kid looking forward, but there's a dog I'm trying to control too. And it gets crazy. And you'll see that today because we thought, man, yesterday was like, 
kind of hard, so let's do something really easy like today, this afternoon, like photograph eight puppies and two kids and two adults and two adult dogs. <laughs> so we decided to go kind of the easy route this afternoon. Um, <laughs> so, so what I'll do though, I wanted to show some of these slides is because what's gonna happen this afternoon when we're shooting is you're gonna see me working in some of these ways with the people and I'll take some shots without the pets even. Like I'll kind of be prepping, like okay, let's get a cool shot, no pets. And I would do that in a pet shoot. Like even if they came just for a family with the pets, still get a shot without the pets because that may still work into a book, a different product. Um, and they may decide that's something they want as well. But it also, not that I want to rely on this, but that's not necessarily a bad thing to have if you might have to use Photoshop to do some head swap um, things down the road once you start adding the pets and those other elements. Um, so just kind of some fun, fun ways that we pose. This, um, I, I keep talking about couches. Um, this is our number one couch pose. I wasn't able to actually show you very well because the couch was a little short yesterday, but this sort of a pose, um, whether it's high school senior, um, I'll show you I have actually that same shot with the family. This is where I talk about my images, definitely are not photojournalistic, but this isn't like your typical standard up close formal shot. Like I wasn't up there touching, posing, moving. I let them just kind of relax and fall into you to each other, I maybe hopped on the couch and showed them how I wanted you know, mom to pose and they all kind of lean in. That's about the max like you can do with this shot. Um, I photograph like engagement couples a lot and again you can just see, you could pop a dog in there easy. You could pop a pet in there easy on one of the kids laps, maybe even up on the couch next to mom. Um, so again, I would actually shoot that first without the dog and then add the dog in. <laughs> just some other. But this, is, this totally relates to pets. I don't know if we're gonna have a couch today or not with the puppies, but I will tell you if like a client called me and said, I have eight puppies, we're gonna shoot on location. Um, my first question is like, can we get some sort of a couch or something that we can actually like set them up on? And the reason being like that kind of contains them. I know I mentioned that yesterday, but that's even the idea with this shot. Like with the ages of some of these kids, you have the, the age where, you know, probably two who's, or one and a half who's maybe running around all over the place. You have the baby who needs kind of help sitting up, that by having a couch, you actually can get that shot. And what I love too, since um, I've gone digital over the ha last however many, you know, seven, eight years, but all, all the products that labs offer now, and we'll get into this with pricing, like we don't sell standard sizes. Like, the way we charge for our pricing, I sell just as many panoramic or odd size prints as a standard traditional size. So that's important when I'm shooting things like this. I, I know this client actually has um, a panoramic image of, the, of this shot. And I just had to show this because you've seen the shot a million times um, on Creative Live that's the cover shot with the dog and the feet. But I do that every day with kids. and. Um, you know, again, I'm not exactly sure of the ages of the kids today and what we're going to be able to do. But, you know, even that with a pet um, added in.